second piece that we're developing for EPD, and this, this is described as each council should develop a plan for engaging the group of key implementing actors. The plan should identify steps to be taken and time frames for conducting those steps. And again, this is engagement that's to take place during this update period, which will begin end of September, beginning of October, and should, should run through the end of September of next year. So first, we spent some time talking about who are implementing actors and how did we define them. And one thing that I looked back at is an item that's in your notebook, which is your, um, basically your public involvement plan from November of 2009. And some of those are crossover with who you just talked about as implementing actors. Permit holders that withdraw water, local governments, industries, businesses, ag users. Permit holders that have point and non-point source discharges. State agencies and regional commissions that provide funding and or technical assistance to water users uh, and that have water related responsibilities. To me, these kind of are what were I guess back in like 2005, 2006, the Water Council agencies, DCA, Soil and Water, Ag, um, Public Health, uh, EPD, GFA, again, those that have some responsibility related to some water area within the state. Colleges and universities that provide outreach, technical assistance, educational opportunities and research and data, uh, as well as other information. Associations and organizations that provide sector-specific education and outreach. Specifically, y'all mentioned the Blueberry Growers Association, Farm Bureau, ACCG, and GMA, as well as the uh, Association of Water Professionals. And I think one good thing about those is those are already trusted sources of information um, for various user groups. So to provide them, uh, instead of creating new mechanisms of communicating with various users, you wanted to target existing uh, mechanisms for information distribution. Other important stakeholders, economic development authorities, industrial development authorities, downtown development authorities. Um, those folks know either what's coming into a community or what they're trying to bring into a community. And again, with that, they know and need to know water availability, um, how much you know, wastewater discharge can be available, uh, to, to attract certain businesses or industry. Environmental and conservation related organizations that are focused on restoration and protection, as well as the general public, as some are with jars and dischargers with well or septic systems uh, that are their own, and all are water users impacted by the regional water plant. So in terms of engagement, um, the council talked again, as I mentioned, about relying on already you know, trusted information providers uh, that are already out there and using their mechanisms for distribution, whether it's newsletters or trainings uh, or other ways um, to, to reach to folks and let them understand what's happening with the plan or what may need to happen, uh, what they may want to provide input on. Uh, the council will work to reach out to local governments, associations, or organizations in the region to assist in publicizing meetings, sharing council activities, and educating and imp implementing actors on their potential responsibilities. I think we've, we've talked about before that um, I do some training with ACCG and GMA, and if you ask folks about their regional water plan, they're not familiar with them. Uh, so those are some, some ways that we can, we can reach out and, and make sure local elected officials are aware that there's a regional water plan and they have some real specific responsibilities. We talked about um, making sure that this council's meeting dates and locations are part of that distribution so that folks are aware. And then in addition, the council may choose to engage representatives from host city or counties of uh, the meeting locations to update the council on how that community is using the water plan or to update the council on significant water related projects. We talked specifically last time, for example, about Valdosta. Um, we have a meeting, in, a meeting in council meeting in Valdosta, invite the city to talk about uh, their wastewater treatment plan or their stormwater program or some way that, that, that they are impacting the plan or the water plan is impacting them. Again, the steps and the time frame on this are during the next kind of phase, so to speak, and the council will seek to more fully engage key implementing actors uh, with, these, with these steps, identify those actors, uh, which we talked about ways to do that, develop and distribute a one-page description of the council's work to date and the next steps, uh, ask for assistance in publicizing the plans, again, through ACCG, GMA, or, or partic particular other associations. 
provide you know, meeting dates and locations to those implementing actors, make sure that relevant planning information is broadly available, and that's always um, put up on EPD's website, and then make sure that there's um, ample time in each meeting for public comment. And that's kind of the, the engagement plan that, that we set out for EPD. You don't want to go to the time frame? I'll go ahead and ask for a motion on this one since we have a plan. Can I get a motion from the floor to accept this plan? I'll second. Got a motion and a second on the floor. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Let's get this from the EPD. 